This video is a review of the kit that I planned to use for the Torino Nice Rally next month. Quite a lot has changed since the first of these videos, which is this one. And the ride I've done, well, that'll be a separate video. However, I've discovered quite a few things that I like and quite a few things that I don't think are gonna work for where I'm going. In the bivy test video, I used a full frame bag which took up the whole central triangle. It didn't work out for me. Altkit made that to my measurements, but I asked for it to be made exact and I should have made it a little bit smaller so the straps could pull it tight and avoid the sag. As it is, it sagged and it occasionally rubbed against the chain ring or the crank, so it couldn't go. I looked into stiffening the sides with some carbon on the inside. It was just getting a bit silly. Then my exo rail went and died on me. Then the pack looked like it was going to need a second lot of repairs, so I thought, to heck with it, I'm just going to go and get the credit card out and I'm going to buy some Apidura stuff. So that's what I've bought. I've got some smaller side loading uh, water bottles so they fit in, but actually I can get a big one in there and I've got one on the top too. So that's the whole central triangle taken care of. The rear pack, when I started out, I had that fluorescent kitchen as it were on top by packing better I've managed to get rid of that and it's much better now however there is still some sway so I might put that woho stabilizer back on yeah so they're the two big bags I've also managed to get a smaller bag at the front as a result of that that might change I might need to go bigger oh. Two midge bitten nights proved bivy bags in Scotland are only for the seriously hardy, but might be what I need on my ride. I'm experimenting and learning on video. Please don't think I'm saying I have got the best way of doing something that my way is right. I know it's not normal on YouTube, but I'm still working stuff out. For example, silk sleeping bag. Yeah, I would normally take that, but actually if I'm only gonna camp a few times, maybe I don't need it. Looking at the temperatures in the Alps at the moment, uh, in past years it's got down to minus two. At the moment, even on the highest peaks, it's well above freezing on the highest cols. So maybe I need a thinner sleeping bag. And really the more I use this um, bivy, I wonder whether or not that is the way to go. Maybe a small tent is, but actually, if it's gonna be wet and rainy, I'm not gonna wanna sleep out. So, and I will have accommodation options. So maybe that's fine. The biggest change I've made to the bike has been the chain set. Got a 34T on the front now, it was a 40. And in the back, it went from 11 to 42, it now goes to 46. Try to go to 50 and it wouldn't change gear. I've also changed the length of the cranks, they're now 165. I had a bike fit with Phil Burt, uh, the man who fits most of British cycling team. And he recommended shorter cranks, would help with my knees. And sure enough, it has. The handlebars are Redshift Sports. Just love these, they are so comfortable. If they arrive in time, I'm gonna change them for the ones I used to have that have a little bar out front and accessory gear rail just to give me a little bit more space on the bars, but it's not essential. But what is essential is the shock stop stem. That really helps. The bike is a Sonda Camino first generation. So I've got 47 mil of clearance on the forks, but these are 44 mil tires. And I think that's probably as big as I really want to go and it's the biggest I can get from uh, Gravel Kings which I really do rate. I'm also trying some Tubolito plastic inner tubes which are lighter and supposedly more puncture resistant. First thing I did was check they could be patched and they can unlike my experience of Schwalbe's Aerothan. The mountain bike ones are tougher, the gravel and cross ones are lighter although they're all lighter than regular butyl tubes. I have the twin navigation system here, I've got the Garmin and I've also got my phone on a quad lock and having both of those proved really useful on this trip and I suspect will be invaluable on the TNR. So that's the kit I'm using at the moment but it probably will change again. If you'd like to stay up to date with what I'm doing please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, I'll see you again next time.